Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to test products uh, using the fast testing method with Facebook advertising. So I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you exactly how to do it inside of the ads manager. So you can just, you know, follow the instructions and just uh, do it for yourself. And if you're, if, once you've launched it, I have another video that uh, shows how to basically make decisions on uh, whether to, to, to kill ads or scale ads. So you can find this video somewhere here. So you can just follow this whole framework and just, you know, execute it by yourself. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a fast method uh, for testing products, right? So it's very simple, so I'll get straight to the point. So the campaign structure here is, um, the objective is conversions. Right, you're optimizing for purchases. Uh, then uh, it's not CBO. I don't like CBO for testing products. I like CBOs mostly for scaling when you have some proof of concept and also you know that your funnel uh, is working properly. So I would utilize the ad set budget optimization as long as possible if you can. And uh, so the campaign name here uh, would be the product name, right? So for example, you're selling, I don't know, nail, nail polish, right? Then e-packet countries, and I'll explain some of the details for that, some, some, of, this, some of the little like hacks for e-packet countries, and then website conversions and cold, right? So it's kind of like by the name of the campaign, you know exactly what products you'll be, uh, you'll be promoting, right? And what products, what kind of like campaign that is. And then the ad set structure here is uh, you're starting with $11 per ad set. So it's, um, I found it's like if you do like 11, most people do like, you know, five or 10, then you have like slight advantage in the, in the auction. Uh, you're doing like seven, uh, 10 ad sets. Uh, then location, uh, e-packet countries except Hungary. So Hungary is, uh, you know, in my personal experience, the, you know, there are not many conversions from Hungary, right? Uh, so it's best to uh, exclude it. And also if you exclude it, so most of the people, they do like just e-packet countries. And if, if you exclude it, then your ads are also in slightly different auctions. So you have like a slight advantage uh, in that respect, right? Because you'll be put in auction with, you know, with other advertisers, right? Then just like with all dropshippers that do e-packet, right? Then age, like from 20 to 60, that's mostly where people buy. Unless you know exactly, let's say if you're selling something for people that are, you know, like maybe 35 plus or like 40 plus or 50 plus or 55 plus. If you know those details, maybe your product specifically designed for those kind of people, then um, you would basically judge, you know, set it up in that way. And then gender, male and female, so all, um, because like, unless again, unless you know, like what kind of like gender you're going after, what a gender, uh, you know, would buy your products. If you, the product is only for females or males, then you would set up that way. So detailed targeting here, that's basically interest targeting uh, or demographics. I'll share in a second, 300,000 to, uh, to uh, 2.5, you know, million plus, depending on kind of like how relevant, if, if, if you have like good indicator, indication that that audience uh, might work well, like for example, if you're selling like, again, nail polish and the interest is nail polish, then it's fine to have, you know, just like that nail polish as interest. You can also narrow it down with engaged shoppers, right? So the structure that I like to do is basically having five of the ad sets uh, just with, you know, straight targeting. Uh, let's say nail polish, nails, and stuff like that. And then five of them having, you know, with like different interests plus engaged shoppers, right? So you have like good combination of audiences. And after initial like 24 hours, you will see kind of like what audiences resonate, what audiences give you sales. So you'll have like good indication of what's actually working. Expand interest, no, at least to start with. When you're expanding, when you're scaling, when you have some initial data, you can ex you can do that uh, expand interest and it actually works very well. But to start with, I found it's best to just not have it on. Placements, uh, mobile and desktop feeds only, right? Uh, so we typically go with uh, Facebook plus Instagram. You can go with, you can go with just Facebook if you want to, uh, but uh, Facebook plus Instagram is fine. Uh, one day click, right? So you just basically just going after the uh, like one day click, just the fastest conversions possible. Then a bidding strategy, uh, auto and lowest cost, right? So you just like keep it very simple, no manual bidding at this point. 
and then ads so that's very important so you would have video or photo uh, photo link ads you would have like four uh, four ads per ad set and for those you would have different uh, first five seconds like intro of the video would be different right i found that makes like a big difference and that could be like a different angle for example one of the angles could be like uh, tired of you know low quality nail polish right another angle could be you know save um i don't know like two hundred dollars on like um on expensive like manicure procedures right another angle could be this type of poly you know something like nail polish right it, it will basically help you with you know with to keep your nails healthy right and then for example three percent of population have uh, issues with their nails or something like this you know this nail polish basically you know helps you to fix your your nails and makes them more healthy and stuff like that so it's kind of like four different angles and you can reflect those with first like five seconds so basically the text overlay the caption on that could be different right so that is basically the structure for this and i want to show you basically quickly how to set it up now in and in the ads manager so we'll basically create the campaign right so we we'll just follow we'll just follow the guidelines that i just covered for you guys so the campaign structure so we'll go after conversions right and you can see it doesn't yeah it uh, it gives me the option for campaign budget optimization but i don't utilize it then um so we don't use cbo campaign name so product name e-packet i'll just copy it from here and if you click uh, slides uh, in comment, uh, then uh, I'll just send you these slides, guys. So you can just, you know, basically copy it as well. So just just uh, comment slides um, in comments if you if you need them. And then, uh, guys, if you're looking for help with scaling your e-commerce business, then there is a link below this video where you can apply for a free strategy session with my team, where we'll see if we can help you to scale your business to the next level, basically helping you to increase your sales profitability, uh, basically make your business more profitable, more scalable. We share winning products with students. So we basically created this community where we are helping, you know, basically sharing what works for us, sharing with other students. And we have this amazing community of people that are all, you know, scaling their businesses, right? So that's, if, you, if you're looking for that, then uh, the link below. So nail polish, let's say, right? E-packet, uh, website conversions called, right? You can see very simple setup. So here, so you optimize for purchase. Right, so you optimize for purchase here. And so here, right, again, e-packet countries. And you would say, okay, let's say I'm going after people that are like 30 plus, right? And all, right, let's say, these are, this would be like, uh, you know, people in e-packet countries and guys, here is a list of these countries so you can find it on a better lemonade stand. Again, uh, this link will be below this um, video. So they have the list of all of the countries here. So see if I can copy him, uh, copy them from here. And I will also would, would want to exclude the Hungary, as I said. So these countries, like this is from uh, December 2017. Uh, this this list, I guess it, it was, um, it was countries, right? So you can see it's kind of like you uploaded, like we uploaded all of them, right? And as I've said, we just exclu exclude the Hungary, match locations, right? You can see it's, uh, it's pretty like straightforward and um, also, as you, uh, as you have seen, countries again, just put them here again. But um, as you have seen, like we had the option, match locations, right? And save this list to use it again. So we have this like a list, um, you know, saved list, right? So we save just, you know, e-packet countries, except Hungary. Right, and that's it. Right, so we have like 42 countries here. They go after like 30 plus. So you can see it's like pretty good. Like if we are selling, let's say like nail polish, that would be like the, the first interest that we would test. Nail polish here, right? 
So we would have it like, uh, we'd have it like, you know, basically by the name of it, like we can easily say kind of like what countries we are targeting, what is, you know, what are the interests. And so, so 30 plus, right? All of these countries, I mean, as you can see, the audience is quite big. So we'd probably have to like narrow it down with like engaged shoppers because the, the audience is just, you know, just too big. So we we'll have, yeah, we we'll have like 5 million, which is a bit too much, right? So what we can do is like, we can just narrow it down, right? So the audience would be a bit smaller, still like, um, and let's do like 50, All right? So basically you have to find that sweet spot, right? In terms of the size of the audience, right? But then again, uh, we'll add the placement. So that will also reduce the size of the, the audience itself. So Facebook news feeds, we'll just remove all of this stuff, right? Essentially, like eventually when you, when you already have data on your pixel, like you, you can just like utilize all of this stuff. Um, but initially, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Like one day click here. I, I mean, 2 million people, it just like, it just like perfect, right? Like 30 to 50. I would, I would probably assume like these products are mostly for women, right? So you can see like women, right? So. Right, so women, 30 to 50, right? So all of the like naming and stuff, you have to like, you have to name it properly for yourself. So then you can easily differentiate like what is the, you know, what's the ad set, what is interest and stuff. Um, so, so we would, we would type here, right? So, and like, if you keep it like organized, then it will be easier for you to see what's working, what doesn't and make adjustments based on that. So you can see here. So here's a page that we want to advertise with. Uh, so for example, we'd say creative one. Ideally you would name it so then you can differentiate it again. It's like the, the, the better you name it, let's say you, you say like nail polish red, right? Let's say that's how you would name it. So this is simple product. So we would just go with, um, let's say nail polish red. I was like, ideally, ideally you would have obviously your custom images and stuff. Okay. And then here you would have this nail polish will save you here. manicure procedures I mean if you would have any information for example trusted by celebrities you know if you would have any kind of like uh, stuff like this uh, that you can you can confirm and use trusted by celebrities worldwide and so, for example, for the, let's say if you wanted to sell it like pre Black Friday, right? So you would just name it like pre Black Friday sale, 75% off. Get yours here, right? So. We, we wouldn't go crazy with like emojis and stuff because I mean, that stuff like uh, people can, can see that that's like drop shipping, right? And that you would have your, your link. So headline here, nail polish. Uh, so Uh, so basically something that would grab the attention. Uh, so, uh, life changing, life changing. It wouldn't be like life changing. I wouldn't call it like life changing, but probably I would call it, um, um, don't beauty salon, this nail polish. 
It will do everything for you. And then uh, here you, you can include uh, details, save, for example, 75% today only, right? So you want to utilize every bit of like space that you have for your ads, right? Uh, the call to action would be shop now. We've seen, uh, we've seen uh, the other one working out as well, you know, the learn more. So you would need to test that. So here, Everything is, you know, everything is standard. So lady lips, right? That's, that's how you would, you would name it. So then you can easily differentiate it, right? And then you would just, you know, you just confirm, see if it gets approved. It will not get approved because, you know, obviously uh, there is no like URL like that. So I'll just make sure that I pause it like right away. just you know just turn it turn it off and then what you can do here guys is um, basically just duplicate it right like for example just click duplicate and so then uh, you can easily you know basically just edit image So that's that's how you would do it, right? So I would have to I would have to like turn off these ads and I would probably like delete them right away so I don't have to, you know, I don't have any issues like with Facebook. But that's how you would duplicate. And then all you need to do here is just duplicate it again, right? With very simple setup. And the only variable that you would change here um, would be the say like nail salon, right? So nail salon plus the shoppers, that's it, right? So you have like, again, quite good size audience, nail salon, everything else stays the same. You just publish it, right? And that's how you would do it. Like so this very simple setup for your ads, for testing after one day, after basically 24 hours, you can, you can make a decision um, if it would be like around like 100, $110 spent, you see, you can see if any of the ad sets, any of the ads are resonating with people, so then you can make a decision, you know, what to do next. So, but you can see this is very simple setup that you can use uh, to, to quickly test products um, with your advertising. So this is it guys, thank you for watching. Again, if you're looking for help with scaling your, um, your dropshipping, your e-commerce business, your Facebook ads, then there's a link below in the description. Uh, click on it, apply for a call with our team. So we'll help you to, first of all, find great products, which we will share with you the winning products that you can sell. You know, we'll advise you basically how to scale your advertising, we'll mentor you, we'll help you if you're a good fit. So apply for a call. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. So we'll release more videos like this. You can watch them and uh, you can get, you know, useful information for your business. So click on the link below. If you're looking for help, click in the comments, leave me some comments, uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.